Hi Tim, welcome back. Uh, day 8, let's get started with it. So, uh, let's uh, quickly continue with where we left. Before that, uh, Banu, you had a question which I'll try and answer. So, uh, let me try and understand the question again correctly. Are you saying when we read the, while QTP is writing to the Excel sheet, can we use the data from the sheet for another test? Okay. So, while QTP is writing, you cannot. But after it has done the writing, you can. What do I mean by it? If I open my uh, test and then Alt Shift O to open my function libraries, let's say that our uh, test is running within this function and I now have access to that specific Excel document. So while this is happening, you cannot be executing any other test. Correct? So if you want within here, you can try and read from another Excel, but you should not be trying to open the same Excel within the other and so on. You'll have a deadlock and it might also crash. Okay? Uh, can I find much more basic concepts? Yes, Mahesh, uh, haven't I mentioned it in almost every class that in screencast, there are two fundamental videos on Excel read write and the functions overview. You should go there and watch them, please. All right. Okay, team. So, predominantly, I think we have completed this test, correct? Uh, and did we get a, a, a run executed at the end? Let's see. Uh, I think we only did one test run, is it? Why I didn't do the others? Anyone knows, team, why it failed for the others? Oh, right. I was talking about the weight and synchronization points, correct? Right. So, here is the thing, team what is this wait statement and what is this synchronization statement and why should I need them? So team, as we built these functions, you've noticed that some pages are getting uh, populated with new sets of information. For example, if I click on this go button on page one, I will be having a page, right? So the page can take certain amount of time to load. The wait statement tells QTP that wait for exactly three seconds before it continues with the next step execution. Okay. Alternately, there is another statement called browser, i.e. either I can use a synchronization out here or on that specific page, I can say page, page one dot sync. What this does is it waits for the browser to complete the current navigation. How is this statement different from this statement? Okay, these are your synchronization points, team. Synchronization 